What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an amazing money making method where you guys can be able to make a decent amount of money in Red Dead Online. So if this is helpful, you guys enjoy it, drop a like on the video and comment down below any improvements you have to add to this method or your guys opinion on it in general. And besides that, subscribe to the channel and let's get this started. So as many of you guys know, the most valuable animals in Red Dead Online to make money off of include cougars, birds, and fishes. So today's video, we're going to incorporate all three of those into this money-making method. So you guys would come out with a bunch of money in your pockets after all this. Now on top of cougars, there's panthers. They all go for the same exact price pretty much. So we're actually going to be doing a panther in this method, a new panther location that you guys might not know about. So first things first, you guys want to come on over to the roads area. And the first stop we're going to make in this money-making method is for the panther, which is going to be located right here, guys. You're going to come to this exact location, and this is where you'll find the panther. So be on guard. There's also alligators in the area, so be very careful. You want to approach this area with your gun out already. You're going to use a bolt action rifle or a bow and arrow to make sure you get that perfect clean kill. You do not damage the carcass or pelt of the animal at all. So let me head on over there, and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so here we're at this spot, guys. Once you see this little broken down shack, you know, in the right area, you basically just ride. Oh, my God, he's right there. Oh, God. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> well, basically, you go right by, past this house, and he's gonna be chilled right over there, guys. So it should be pretty easy. Now, once you have him, wait to skin him, guys, because sometimes if you skin him right here and put the pelt on your horse, as you guys know, pelts get a little bugged on the horses from time to time. So you're better off waiting to skin him. We got the three star panther boys, best you can get. Let's load them up onto a horse. We're going to move on to the next part of this method. Like I said, we're going to incorporate fishes and birds into this method. And it's going to be super, super easy. It's all in the same area, same general location. Now, I just wanted to point this spot out to you guys real quick since it's so close to where the panther is. So the panther spawns like right here. If you guys ride right back to here, we have some spoonbills here. And oftentimes, there's many of them. There's usually like three in this middle island. There's some over here you can see. So it's very important that you guys stop here and grab them. As you know, these are worth some good money as well. So let's go ahead and just shoot these real quick. And after you shoot the one, the other one might fly away as well. But it looks like we got them easily. No problems. Oh, there's some more. Oh, no, the alligator's messing us up. So obviously, before you go and get those, let's just kill off these alligators. Because uh, we don't want them messing with us and losing any of these cougars. All right, so let me go ahead and grab these. Um, these ones, you can go ahead and take the plumes off if you want, uh, or you could wait till the end. But I'm not going to keep that carcass because it's a two-star, and we're actually going to be getting more of these spoonbills later on. But um, the ones that you hook onto your horse, you want to make sure you do not uh, pluck the feathers of those. You want to wait till the end because if you get 10 spoonbill plumes, as you know, that's the max amount you can hold. But if you don't uh, pluck the ones you put on your horse, you guys can have an extra six when you get to the butcher. So let me hook this one on. And now we're going to move on to the second part of this method, which is going to be here at Ringneck Creek. And after Ringneck Creek, we're going to go right here. And there's a little surprise for us right down here. So let's get this going. All right. So once you guys are here, you want to come to this spot right in the middle. Let me show you the exact location right here. All right. And now you guys may know this method. It's pretty simple. We're going to use the cougar uh, carcass right here or the panther. I keep calling it the cougar. The panther carcass to block off this water so that fish do not flow on down. And this part is very, very easy. And it's a very quick method, which is why we're going to incorporate it into this panther method. Because it's, you know, it's just going to help us make even more money. And it's not going to add any unnecessary time. So once the panther carcass is in the water, take out our fishing rod. Switch to whichever lure, uh, river or lake. I find that lake lures work best for me. Once it's in the water, stand behind the carcass. And we're simply going to cast upstream. Once it's upstream, leave it in the water for a bit, guys. A couple seconds to you know, maybe like 30 seconds. Pop off your eagle eye and you will see fish start starting to spawn in the water. And once that starts happening, they're going to start swimming up onto the land, killing themselves. And at that point, we just pick them up and be on our way. All right, once it's been a minute or so, guys, we're basically just going to walk up the creek and you'll see there's going to be fish that are beached all along this river. You see we got one over there, we got one here, and there's a bunch up the river. So let's just start picking them up. And you guys should be able to get a full inventory of smallmouth bass without a problem. And on top of that, once you guys have a max of 10 in your inventory, what you guys can do is start shooting the ones that are already on the ground because that's going to turn them into poor quality and you'll be able to hold another full stack of these fishes. So I'm going to pick all these up. We should have 10 easily. I see a bunch up there as well. So make sure you check all the way up this creek because they go pretty far up. Also, make sure you check by the cougar or the panther that you put down 
because oftentimes that's why it's here for a reason. It's going to catch any fish that float down this river. Now, I believe that was 10. So, yeah, we have 10 in our inventory right now. So, let me show you guys what I was actually talking about. So, we have this one on the ground right here. Basically, all you do is you're going to shoot it. And that's going to reduce the quality of this uh, smallmouth bass. Actually, shoot it multiple times. Alright, so at this point, we're going to pick the panther back up. It's going to be completely fine. It's not going to be harmed at all. It's going to be still three stars. Load it up onto our horse. And now we're going to head to the third location, which is also a very easy spot. So as you guys can see, we it's literally no effort so far. We killed the panther, went to that little lake, got some easy birds, got some super easy fish. Now we're going to head right down here to this spot. And after that, we'll be right next to the butcher's guy. So it's very close route, very tight, not a lot of traveling. Because with a lot of methods, a lot of time is wasted simply with traveling around and looking for the next animal. This one's literally bang, bang, bang. About 30 seconds to each location. So you guys should be making some big money. All right, so at this point, guys, you want to be stealthy and you want to use your varmint rifle. Now, there is an alligator here, which I hate because the alligators tend to mess you up a ton while hunting these types of stuff. Also, we have egrets here, but I believe egrets are still bugged, and we can't actually uh, sell those right now. So you want to focus on the spoonbills and the herons and kind of ignore the egrets. Uh, kill them if you want. You can still sell the carcasses, but you cannot sell the plumes. See what I'm talking about? But as soon as they're in the air, you guys should be all right. And just shoot all of them. They're going to fall. I'm going to call my horse over. Now, at this point, you can you can easily kill the alligators without the, having to worry about anything. So, again, we got a three star, so we're not going to pluck this one. I'm going to this, put this one on our horse for now. Let's grab the other ones, and the other ones we will pluck. So, we got two three star spoonbills on our horse. We got the panther. We got a whole bunch of fish in our inventory. So, already we're looking good. Let's get our horse to follow us. And we got a ton of birds right here. You guys can even skin the alligator, get the meat as well. That doesn't go for crazy money, but hey, better than nothing, right? So let's pluck all these. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five to pluck. So we should have a ton of plumes to sell. So we got a bunch of cranes. Um, and I believe maybe one or two herons. I wasn't looking at the names too much when shooting them. I was just focused on shooting them. Um, I, you know, might as well skin. Oh my God, there's another alligator. All right, might as well skin these alligators as well. Take the meat and the teeth that come along with them. It's going to be a couple extra dollars, nothing crazy, like I said. So I'm going to wrap this up, get the rest of these things. Obviously, we're not going to take the skin. We don't really need that. All right, so that should be everything, guys. We got the meat from the alligators. We got all these birds. We got the fish. We got the panther. So let's take a look at our map here. Now, what you guys can do here is I want you to ride it back onto roads. But when you're riding on back to roads, I want you guys to kind of follow this coast on down to this bridge. Because actually, we will find some more birds along here. It is nighttime, though. Not as many birds spawn at nighttime, as you guys may know. So uh, if I do see any, I'll put them in the video. If not, we're just going to work our way back to the butcher, sell this stuff. And I'll show you guys how much money you can expect to get from this method. All right, so we're here at the butchers. We're going to keep these on our horse for now. We're not going to skin them yet. We're going to go and sell what we have in our inventory. And this is what we got from the run, guys. So again, do not sell these until we take the stuff off them. So let's go down the line first. We got our small mouth bass, $2 each. That's 20 bucks right there. Big money. We got the poor one. Like I said, that little method I taught you guys. Sell those. We got our gamey bird meat. 25 cents each, $1.50 in total, nothing crazy. Next, we got the big game meat from the alligators, $7.50. Like I said, nice little pocket change. We got the whooping crane feathers, $1.20 each, 12 in total, good money as well. The teeth that come from the alligators, $3.20. Uh, venison meat, I believe I just got this from a DR randomly killed, so you guys probably won't be having that. Uh, next, we got the regular feathers, just from birds. The spoonbill plumes, $1.95, $5.85 for these. We also have six more on our horse. So let me go ahead and take these off now. So at this point, we're going to take the spoonbills off. We'll just pluck off the feathers, hook them back on our horse. Same goes with the other side. So you just drop it on the ground. We'll do the same with the panther. Skin it, throw the panther back on the horse, throw the skin back on the horse or the pelt. And then we'll go into the butchers and we'll be able to sell all these items again. No problem. So just like that, the horse is fully loaded up. Now let's go back to the butchers. Let's call the horse a little closer. And we can sell all this as well. So this is another big stack of money for us. The bird meat from the ones that we just plucked. The big game meat from the panther we just uh, carved up. The normal flight feathers, obviously from the birds. Six more plumes, another $11.70. The two carcasses, eight bucks. And on top of that, we got this pelt, $6.25. Well, actually, it's more than the panther. My bad, guys. I was mistaken at the beginning. The panther is actually more than the cougar. I'm getting them all mixed up. It's more than the cougar. That's what I'm saying. All right, so now we got the panther, 14 bucks. You guys saw 
we got a fat stack of cash from that method and i have to say super super easy method guys this is probably one of the best and easiest routes to do to make some money in red dead online i highly recommend it so guys give it a try if it is helpful drop a like down the video comment down below any improvements to make this even better than it already is besides that subscribe and i'll see y'all next time for a brand new video peace